Hey fellas, this mechanic mode, another video for my YouTube channel and in this video you're gonna see guys how I'm taking this uh, car apart it's a 2021 GLE 350 4 Matic I'm taking it apart because of the flood damage you guys enjoy the video so here is the situation in the car um, it's pretty muddy um, I think the water went really high it's really really high um, what I think is uh, this car is going to be a really hard uh, project uh, because uh, nothing works in this car not even the cluster so guys what is the plan uh, the plan is to uh, take apart the whole interior uh, replace all the modules uh, clean or replace uh, the wire harness um, and then uh, this is the part of the interior that's what you guys gonna see but in general what I'm gonna do on this car also I'm gonna uh, fix the engine if it's uh, bad if not then uh, um, we're gonna just ma do the maintenance and uh, make sure everything works fine also same transmission I'm going to replace the transmission because it has water inside and that's bad for the transmission that's never gonna work again like it was before and that's it uh, good luck to me uh, you get the popcorn and enjoy the video all right guys so uh, <clears throat> here is time to remove the front seats because I did so here is the situation I tried to open the trunk and I can't it's locked even in manually um, so this is here is the situation uh, I have to take the carpet apart but to take the carpet I have to remove the front seats so I got my uh, jump box with wires uh, here is the time to remove front seats so what I'm gonna do I start removing the module so as you see guys uh, I remove the module and then you have to remove the wires the connectors they come easily apart here is the module it's pretty flooded now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put straight power to the motor right there and try to move the seat uh, forward and back just to remove the the bolts so uh, I think yeah I cannot make it to move forward so we're gonna uh, we're gonna try to push it now back or forward just to move the seat let's hit a little bit the the motto pretty dusty here so let's see what kind of wires they have it's a uh, black red and purple yep everything's pretty dead like I thought so let's remove the cover which is Okay, so here um, it's a more difficult. I couldn't uh, make it with wires to move the motor. Uh, the rails are really rusty, so uh, I decided to use this 
10 millimeters key and uh, taking taking apart like this um, it's really hard but uh, it's it's possible Hey fellas, so from here on I'll just uh, speed up the video, there is not much uh, that I can uh, explain you, it's just you can see everything in the video, um, it's gonna go uh, fast, if you have any questions you can uh, leave below in the comments, anything like uh, console removal or uh, dash removal or front left, uh, front right carpet, uh, rear seats, doesn't matter, I'll answer everything in the comments. Um, if I'll uh, if I'll try to explain you everything, this video will be very long and boring. You will have a uh, probably an hour, so it doesn't make sense for me to um, explain you much. You just can see everything in the video. So let's go.
All right, guys, so here is the interior. You guys can figure out much as you see on the video, everything. There's the airbag. Uh, I believe you guys can figure out what to, it needs to be removed in your case if you do the same job as mine. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to take apart the whole trunk compartment, which is take the cover, the spare tire, and then take the, the side, the left side and right side covers. And uh, I believe there is modules which I have, I have to remove because uh, this car it's flood damage. And um, like I said, I'm going to remove even the dash. I believe there's gonna be a different video for that. But now um, I'm definitely gonna remove this, and then I'm gonna end up this video because I did remove a lot of things in this car. And I uh, understand that it's going to be a, a long video. So let me take that out and then I'm, uh, I'm gonna make another video for this uh, dash because this dash is, it looks to me really complicated. And uh, I'll need a whole video for that. So let's go. Alright fellas, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Uh, hopefully this uh, video helped you. Uh, I'll try to make more. And sooner. Um, good luck and see you next time.